I can't catch a wave. Really tryna lay low steady, millions and get paid. Really tryna mind my fucking business, why the hate? I'ma keep on doing this shit till I touch a grave. I've been going way too hard, I'm touching super safe. I've been getting way too fucking lit that I might rage. Niggas say they feel me, but they can't. Alright guys, I've been hearing so much about this polygon. I'm finna try to do it live here. I'm gonna try to get some funds over the polygon to get me some some um M Zen, some Matic Zen. So I'm on a swap I use for Avalanche, a bridge swap, um Stella Swap, which is app.stellaswap.com. S-T-E-L-L-A S-W-A-P. This is a decentralized system. All right, not centralized. So I have Zen.network open. We're going to try to go to Polygon. I already got BSC, Ethereum, and Avalanche. So we go to Polygon. There's no EAA over here. Early adopter amplifier. But there is some AMP. We got AMP over here. Global rank is pretty low. So we kind of early over here. 53 milli mil. So that's that. All right. Trying to look right here. We don't have any EAA because we have um already went over the uh well don't worry about that. We don't have no EAA. That's what we're doing. So got my Ethereum chart up. And got my gas is about 51 on the low end. Let's go try to do some swaps, man. I heard Polygon be kind of you know pragmatic, be having a little problems here and there. Transactions dropping and stuff, but I got to get over here, man. I got to get over here and get me some mints going before. Y'all get over here, all right? So first thing, I got my Raddy. I keep saying Raddy. I think it's Rabby Wallet. I got my Rabby Wallet open. And we got a little bit of ETH in here. Uh, I don't know how much ETH we can get. I think we got about 1,600 in here. 1,300. I must have been spending some somewhere. Okay. So we're going to take some of this ETH, and we're going to get some Matic tokens. So first thing I'm going to do, make sure I'm in cross-chain swap. We do stuff live with baby. We don't just talk you here off over here. We do crypto over here. We this is what we do. We don't we don't just talk you to death. All right. We talk you to death, but we show you to death too. All right. So I'm coming from E with the same address because your addresses can be used on multiple blockchains. Some of them. Uh, I can use this one on Avalanche. I can use this one the same address on Polygon, Avalanche. Um, Ethereum, and all I do is just swap back and forth between Rabby Wallet, all right? Raddy Wallet, one of them, the little rabbit thing, all right? It does it for me automatically. So I'm going to make sure I have from, it's coming from here, we're coming from Ethereum blockchain, and we want some ETH. Now, we want to pull some ETH. If I wanted to pull some USD or something else from Ethereum, I could have did that. But we're pulling Ethereum to get some Matic off the Polygon blockchain. So I need to change this from Moonbeam to Polygon. And it's already highlighting Matic. And I know we want 0.1. So these fields should update when I hit 0.1 to give me that conversion. I'm gonna wait on this to load up a little bit. It was acting a little laggy. So that's $193. We got some fees down here. This gas fee won't be $50. They're going to actually refund a lot of that. So just read up on that. We're going to hit switch network because it has to get it. It has to switch the network to go pull from it and get the payment. So we're going to hit switch network. All right. No, I don't know why I keep jumping back to Moonbeam. I don't want no Moonbeam. I want Matic, baby. So I got to wait on this to update. Make sure before you hit that submit button, your addresses are right where you want it to go. This is where it's going. If I didn't want it going to this wallet, I could switch and put another wallet in. But I know it's paying from this wallet. It's paying from this wallet, and it's going to send that Polygon to this wallet. So long as it do that, I'm good. We should get about $193 worth of Matic. And we'll take that Matic over there and do some Zen stakes. I heard it was cheap over there. I don't know. Avalanche is like $4 per mint, but we're going to see. So let's hit submit. Minimum to receive, 181.39 Matic on Polygon. Uh, Rabby Wallet is giving me the price. It's going to be $31 worth of gas right now. We're going to bump that up a little bit. 
Uh, I like I like Ratty Wallet because it tells me what's coming out my wallet. No errors found. No risk. Let's go up to 56. Oh, that ain't nothing. Let's go up to instant. 35. Uh, that ain't nothing, baby. Little money ain't nothing, baby. $35, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, you can be scared of 35, man. You got to spend money to make money, baby. So you're going to see it do its little thing. And that's how you do it, baby. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got a wallet from the pull from and a wallet to go to. You seeing it's giving me little updates down here saying done, processing. I should be able to sc scroll this up. I don't want to touch nothing and mess nothing up, but it gives you like some little check marks. Oh, there we go. Still processing. Oh, it says done. Okay, so we done. Here's your little receipt right here. Oh, now it's done. Okay, now we got all three check marks. All right, so that didn't take too long. Just cost about $35 to get that. And let's go see if it really cost us $35. You can't really go by that. That's what it said at the max it would cost. All right. Gas fees before refund, $50.67. So let's see what it really charged us. Because I, I was supposed to get a little refund over here, I think. Let me see. Cross-chain fees. All right. Where's my, um, let me go to the blockchain. All right, let's go click on the blockchain and see what they hit your boy up for. They might have hit us with 50 bucks. I ain't never been on here on Polygon, so I ain't, well, I ain't never check, check nothing. Let's see where the fee's at. Express gas, 0.187 Matic. Man, y'all ain't got USD, man. Now I got to go figure out what 0.187 Matic is. Base fee, that can't be right. Express gas. I don't know. Don't worry about that. I guess it is what it is. All right, let's get off of that. Let's go see. Let's go into zen.network. Let's go to Polygon. And what we want to do is go mint some, some Zen FTs. Make sure we're on the Polygon network. I shouldn't have anything over here. Make sure I'm in the right wallet. I don't see my polygon balance come up yet. Let me see my polygon balance. Hold on. Let me refresh. Lord, I hope I just blew $200. <laughs> hope I just blew $200. Because you can't switch to... It says I'm on the Polygon blockchain. Let me go. Maybe I have to go add that token. Hold on. Whoo, boy, I got scared, boy. It took a little. It took about five seconds after I paused, but the Matic showed up on Ratty Wallet. I guess it hadn't. The mailman hadn't delivered it yet, but you can see right here on Matic, uh, we have one hundred and ninety-three dollars. And what I love about Ratty Wallet is all your blockchain tokens are together. This is for Matic. This is for Matic. This is, I don't know, some scam token from Binance Smart Chain. And these are ETH tokens, all right? I got a little bit in each one of here. So I don't have to go back and with Ratty Wallet. You don't have to go back and forth for all that switching. So let's go try to do our first little mint. I like to knock my mints out shortest to greatest. If I'm in a rush to get some tokens, I start with the shortest, like three months away. I do three months away on that Friday, the last Friday of the month. Then I go to month after that, last Friday, month after that, and I go all the way out until I can't go anymore, which is like 400 and something days. Once I got my Friday weeklies out, well, actually, I take that back. Yeah, I do my monthlies. I do my monthlies first, last day of the month, all the way up to 400 and something days. I knock those out the way, so at least I know I'm getting one NFT every month. So if the price skyrocket, I'm getting paid every month. Now, once I knock those monthlies out, I come back and try to knock out the first of the month, starting from the three month on, working the way back. So now I'm getting paid twice out the month, all right? Each month I'm getting paid twice for 400 and something days. And then I just fill in the blanks. I try to get paid every single Friday. So I'm actually doing three ladders in one. I'm doing once a month ladders, last day of the month 
then once I'm satisfied with that, I know I'm at least getting one NFT dropping every month. I come back and try to get the front of that month because I don't want to wait till the end of the month. I can wait till the front of that month. Once I got the front of the month, I get the middle. And by the time you get the front, the middle, and the back, you got all your Fridays or at least three days out each month for the next 400 something days. So Matic boom some more in three months. I know I'm getting some of them NFTs come and claim. Undo. So let's get started. We're going to make this video too long. That was just my little expression of what I do with my mint. So let's go do some minting. Let's see how much these fees are. So we're going to mint. Oh, okay. We're in the mint tab. Let's go hit mint. We're on Polygon. We only got $200 of work with, baby. Let's see how much. Uh, let's change this category first to collector. How many days we can max out? Okay. So we can max out 128 days on Polygon. Avalanche, you can only do 38 right now. Got a little calendar right here. This is the furthest we can go. See, if we try to go 8, uh, 31, it won't let us. It tells you right here the max you can go is 17. The furthest we can cast our reel out is the 17. Now look, sometimes it does this on Avalanche. If you hit the 17, it'll go to 16, watch. How to get that 17 is you have to go to the day after that. The day you want, go after that. So watch I hit this 18. It'll hit 17. Now, don't worry about that on max. If you hit max, it's going to go there automatically. But if you're trying to do some other dates in between or before this, it'll keep doing that. The little, the little trick is whatever date you want, click on the date behind it, and it'll actually give you that. All right, so let's see how much this costs, man. We ain't got no way about 200, 200 bones to spend, so let's see. Let's see. What? Six dollars? Man, get out of here, man. Six dollars for a Zenturion? Oh my goodness. Let me do instant. Bruh. I should have been over here, men, bruh. Oh my goodness. Let's see how long it takes. See if I fall asleep like I do. And I did fast now. Come on now, Polygon, man. I did fast, man. Y'all supposed to be show me the green, baby. Show me the green. If this work, guys, I'm not going to bore you to death. I'm just going to. I'm starting out 8, 17, 24. Then I'm going to work my way back. 7, 17, 24. 7, 17, 24. Matter of fact, I'm lying. I want to knock these early ones out. Boy, Polygon taking a long time. I want to knock these early ones out. So the closest NFT I want coming to me is three months from now. So 720. Today is 420. So I'm going to start after this. I just did this as a test. I'm going to do 720. Knock that out. Knock that short baby out. So I ain't worrying about no more shorts. I don't like doing shorts. So I like to knock them out. 720. Then I'm going to do 820, 920, 1020, 1120, 1220, then 124, 24, 224, 24, 324, 24. Man, come on, Polygon. God, dog. Bro, you taking all day. Is this thing going to fail? Boy, the $6 over here, though. How many Zenturions can I do for $200? 200 divided by... 60 bones. Boy, I can do 33. I'm finna bring some money over here. Man, this thing gonna take all day, but this is how you do it. Why Polygon so slow? I can't complain too much because the gas fee is killing my video being so long. But this is how you do it, baby. Get that ratty wallet. I might do a tutorial for ratty wallet. But this is how you do it on Polygon, baby. P. Man, that took about five minutes for that one NFT, man. So we got that one NFT right now done. So I'm just going to do the rest, guys. Just wanted to show you guys, but I'll let your boy. Peace.